Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the opening of the Nexus Institute. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I think we should start. Edward Said is in het land. De 58-jarige Palestijns-Amerikaanse wetenschapper met veel beroemde boeken op zijn naam geeft een lezing voor het Nexus Instituut in Tilburg. Dat houdt zich bezig met de bestudering van cultuur en maatschappij. Ik ben erg dankbaar aan de organisatoren van deze lectuur en het Nexus Instituut voor me te me met de privilege van deze serie te beginnen. And as I said before, to a friend before we began, uh, I hope this doesn't sink the series, but perhaps gets it off to a good start. I want to thank uh, Rob Riemann of Nexus for this invitation. Thank you for coming. I know that I speak for everyone here when I extend our heartfelt thanks. I have many fond memories of Tilburg in, from my previous life. So if my speech today is at the, level, at the level of my past performances here in Tilburg, I think we'll all be happy. Nexus is one of the finest intellectual, <coughs> intellectual marketplaces in the world in the last two decades. I am excited and humbled to follow on this stage in the footsteps of my great predecessors. Only the wonderful Nexus could have enticed me to come. It is not easy to make the interstellar journey. Please, please join the Nexus Institute. <laughs> Get the bumper sticker, join and keep it alive. And uh, because he is, there's, they have so many interesting ideas and doing a night like this is completely because of them. What I feel about it, which is that this is the only conference or gathering I ever go to where on the same platform you can find an admiral and an opera singer. That's going to happen later today. It's truly amazing the range of human ingenuity and talent that gets brought together at Nexus. Thank you very much for this opportunity and I have to say that I do admire Nexus Institute. The Nexus Institute is crucial in this time. The people come from around the world and talk about serious things seriously. Doesn't mean we don't have fun. 